is the second material that we are going to use to build our foundation is examination. Examination means to inspect, it means to investigate, it means to look through, look over in detail. See, the details matter because when you're looking at something or when you are, 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 are examining something, you want to examine every single detail. I need to know every single detail so that I can understand what I'm dealing with. See, the character is in the detail. So when we think about examination, I want us to understand that examination is a necessity. Self-examination is a necessity. See, the more we examine ourselves, the more we understand ourselves. See, when you examine something, you are examining it to understand the nature, right? We are examining ourselves to understand our nature. We are examining ourselves to understand our condition. And the more we take out the time to examine ourselves, the more we will see the different levels of ourselves. Self-examination is very, very important. The more we examine, the more we are going to see, the more we are going to see, the more we are going to understand about ourselves. Nobody should examine you better than you. Nobody should be able to examine me better than me. So I have to make time. We have to make time to examine ourselves daily because there's always something that we can identify. And remember, when we are examining ourselves, we are examining ourselves to identify ourselves. Identification is everything. One of the reasons why we can't identify ourselves the right way or the correct way we don't know who we are. We don't know where we're supposed to go. We don't know our purpose is because we do not take out the time to examine ourselves. When you talk about something that is broken, something that is damaged, in order for you to understand how bad it is, how badly damaged it is, or how badly broken something is, you have to examine it to understand how it's supposed to function, to understand how it's not functioning, to understand what caused it to break or what caused it to function this way or how was it functioning before. So whenever we have uh, uh, these feelings of something that's missing or, 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 or something that, that, that we don't understand or, or, or something that, that's causing us to, to, to feel some type of way, we have to examine that. Examine how we feel. Examine how we think. Because we're trying to understand. And when we're, when we're able to understand, that knowledge that we receive is going to help us move forward. But the less we examine ourselves, the less we are going to know about ourselves. The more we complain, the less we are going to examine and the less we are going to examine, the more we are going to get into the habit of lying to ourselves. Think about it. A complainer will never be an effective examiner because that person that is complaining or if I am complaining or I'm finding every reason to complain and don't. Uh, take out the and I don't take out the time to examine myself. Guess what? I am building myself up to receive a lie, and I'm lying to myself. So I don't want to be a complainer. I'd rather be an examiner. I don't want to complain all the time. I'd rather uh, take out the time not to complain but to examine myself. And the reason why I say. We become liars or we lie to ourselves because we complain. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Have you sat down and examined your schedule to see how much time you actually have in a day and, and, and put everything in order? 
Or I don't have the money to do this. I never had this. That I, I, I don't have money to, to, to do this. I'm, I'm always broke or I'm always barely making. I'm barely making ends meet. Listen. Have you sat down and examined your finances? To see where your finances go. See, it's easier to complain. But the work comes in when we are willing to sit down and examine ourselves, inspect our hearts. Because there's a lot of things that we are going to find out that's going to rock our world. It's going to shake us up. But we need that. So we have to be more examiners and not complainers. Because the more we complain about something, the more we complain about our lives, the less we're going to examine and the more we're going to want to find another complaint, find another complaint. And all we're doing is just lying to ourselves. So we have to examine ourselves down to every single detail. Right. When you go and buy clothes out of the store, you examine those clothes. You want to make sure there's no rips in it. You want to make sure there's no stains on it. You want to make sure the price is what you want to uh, the price is what you want to pay. You want to make sure it's the right color. You're going to look at the tag and make sure it's the right size. All, all, all everything we're doing, we examine it down to every detail because we want to make sure it's what we want. So when we think about ourselves, we have to think about ourselves on a higher level and say, you know what? I want the best for myself. I want the best out of life. I want to make sure that I am living up to my best potential. And the only way I'm going to do that, I have to continue to examine myself. It's easy to look at yourself. We look at ourselves all day long. But when was the last time we seen ourselves see there's a big difference we all have mirrors in our cars and our houses we all have phones and cameras and all these mirrors so we, we we look at ourselves all the time but when was the last time i seen myself because that's what matters when was the last time you seen yourself that matters I went through a period in my life where I was doing a whole bunch of things that was against what I was supposed to be doing. So basically I was fighting myself, right? I was fighting, I was fighting, I was fighting, I was fighting the most high, I was fighting, I was fighting, I was fighting. And one time, I'll never forget this, I was sitting outside and I was smoking. I had my shirt off, you know, I, I, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was feeling myself, you know, I'm outside, I'm smoking, I'm, I'm untouchable, you know, this is the mindset when I was young, when I was younger, I, I'm untouchable, I can do what I want to do, you right, and I'm sitting outside and I'm smoking and I'm, and, and I'm standing by a car and I'm smoking, now keep in mind, prior to this, I've been looking at myself, right? Prior to this, I've been looking at myself. I've just been living life, running the streets, doing doing whatever, not thinking, uh, uh, making bad, all type of stuff. Anything you can name, I was doing. I was into it. I'm sitting outside and I'm smoking. And I'm by this car. And for a split second, I look into the, 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 uh, the back window of the car. Of the, the mirror. The window. And I look. And for the first time. Ever. In that little. That little glance. Or that little sp split second. I saw. Myself. And it scared me. I can't explain. It was different. And we all have been there. We all have been been in uh uh have gotten to that point in life when when you've been going through life, right? Living life, working against yourself, doing everything that is against you, fighting truth, running from truth. And the most high put you in a situation to where you have to see yourself. I saw myself for the first time, and when I saw myself for the first time, it scared me. That's when I knew then I got to switch it up. 
So when we actually see ourselves for the first time, I'm not talking about the, the outer image. I'm talking about when I looked in that mirror, I saw the inner me. I saw how I looked on the inside. And it was terrible. So when we inspecting ourselves down to every detail, because we do it for everything else. When it comes to things we want to buy, when it comes to things we want to wear, when it comes to things we want to watch, when it comes to things we want to eat, we, we, we go, we make sure we examine every single thing. So we have to start doing that for ourselves, for our well-beings. The tool that we can use that helps us deal with the material examination is a scale. See, there are different levels of examination, right? But the level of examination I want us to look at is the part where it means to weigh something, right? It means to weigh something, to ponder, to consider, right? If you think about it, everything has been weighed and everything has a weight. Think about it. This is good. Think about it. Everything has a weight and everything ha that tells me everything has been weighed. When you go into the store and you're buying uh, uh, canned goods or, 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 or food or whatever you want to buy, everything has a weight. The value depends on the weight. If you go get a, a stock of bananas and it says 59 cents a pound, then you know how much you're going to pay based upon how many pounds you have, right? That means them, them, th those bananas can be weighed or has been weighed. Your car that you drive has a weight. Everything has been weighed. Every time you go to the doctor, what is the first thing they want you to do? They want you to step on the scale. So the tool that we are going to use to help us identify or help us understand and work with the material examination, help us work with examination better is a scale. And the reason why I'm talking about a scale, because a scale does two things. It shows you where you are. Right? It shows you where you are. And it shows you what you haven't been doing. Think about it. Most people run from the idea of stepping on a physical scale. And the reason why they run from stepping on a physical scale because they know they have not been doing what they have supposed to been doing. And then when we know we have been eating right, or we know on the physical side, I'm, I'm using this example. When we know we've been doing what we're supposed to be doing, we've been eating right, guess what we want to do? We run to the scale. Oh yeah, we run to the scale. We can't wait to see the results. Why? Because we know in our hearts we've been doing what's right. We've been doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We've been sticking to our, our, our plan that we have for ourselves, our diet plan, or whatever we set for ourselves. We've been sticking to it because I can't wait to get on the scale. But when you find people that runs from the scale, that don't want to get on the scale, they don't want to deal with seeing themselves. So when you think about examination, I want us to think about a scale. And the reason why I want us to think about a scale, because a scale is designed to show us where we are and to show us what we have not been doing. And would you believe me if I told you that the Most High put a universal scale? There's a universal scale on earth. Would you believe me if I told you that the Most High, the Almighty Father, put a spiritual scale inside of every human being? The more we run from that scale, the more we are running from the truth about ourselves. 
And the more we run from the truth, the less we are going to deal with the truth. Would you believe me if I told you that the Most High put a scale inside of every human being? You can call it what you want to call it. I'm calling it a scale. Because when we step on this spiritual scale, just like that physical scale, when you step on that physical scale and it shows you where you are, it shows you uh, 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 how much you have lost, how much you have gained and where you are. The same thing the spiritual scale does. When we step on that spiritual scale, it shows us the real us. It shows us what we haven't been doing. It shows us what we need to do. It tells us where we've been going. It, it shows us where we need to be going. It tells us who we need to hang around. It tells us who we shouldn't hang around, what we ought to be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. There is a scale that is inside of us that the most high put there. To balance us. See a scale is about balance. If it's too heavy it's going to tilt. Right? But when it's balanced it's leveled. So this scale that the most high put in us. Is to level us. It's to keep us in harmony. To keep us in balance. But when our thoughts are clumsy. And our minds are clumsy. And we're tripping over things in our mind. We're off balance. But the Most High put a scale inside of all of us, each one of us, to tell us when we're not going the right way. To tell us when we're not acting like ourselves. To show us that we are not speaking how we ought to speak. To show us that we are not thinking how we ought to think. To show us our true self. Now you can run from that scale or you can step on that scale. And the more we step on that scale, the more we begin to take accountability for ourselves and understand that there is something that I need to do instead of pointing the finger and blaming, 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 blaming. Because we all have a scale inside of us and that scale is designed to help us find out. Meditation is very, very important when it comes to examination. Because the more we quiet our minds and the more we calm our minds down, the more we block out all of the noise, the more we're able to meditate within ourselves, the more we are able to examine ourselves. See, we want to weigh our hearts. We want to weigh our minds. We want to weigh our spirits. Because we want to know what we haven't been doing. We want to know where we stand. But we can't do that if we are not willing to examine ourselves.